The Globe Tempco Swift, a fun plane to fly and hopefully a fun model to build. This will be a very basic vacuform model build of the Globe Tempco Swift in 132nd scale. The Globe Tempco Swift light plane was a common light plane post-World War II, but it went out of production so is rare now and therefore not modeled in current production even though it remains a popular aircraft. I have very little stick time in the Swift and a lot more in the right seat rider time. It's a fun, fast little airplane. Here's a vacuform kit. This being the wings and tail parts. And these being the fuselage halves. The vacuform sheets show the kit to be kind of a pl classic vacuform in that there's fuselages arrangement is split down the vertical center center line and the wings and tail of course come with it as a top and a bottom fuselage halves need to be cut out of the ba basic vacuform sheet by scribing around the edge of the model after cutting it out you can see that the edges are pretty rough and they're not all the way down to the cut line because they don't cut off straight across, they cut off at a diagonal that you held the knife. So the next step is gonna to be to sand them flat like this, basically. Only to actually make this work, it needs to be wet sanded. To spare you the time, I'll do it off camera again. So they've been sanded now so that they should fit together. And they do pretty well. And uh, we could just glue them together now, build the model from there, but it would come out kind of like a solid model made from wood in that it has no cockpit. Uh, and you would draw, you know, paint the, paint the cockpit on. But it actually does come with a vacuformed canopy to be fit in there. So the next thing we need to do is fit the canopy and, and cut out the area for it before we assemble it so that it can be uh, installed afterward. Here's the fuselage temporarily assembled and uh, marked for uh, cutting to install the clear fuselage clear fuselage parts. Here's the fuselage post-surgery. The next step typically would be to glue it together butt joint like this. This doesn't form a very strong bond because the surface area isn't very large so typically I like to reinforce it with some little thin styrene strips along the edge here uh, to, to make it a, sort of a lap joint as well as a butt joint. The parts are fit together and they have little tabs crossing the split line. As you can see them on the two sides. They're meant obviously to miss each other and uh, they're ready to put it together for the final assembly. While the fuselage glue is drying up, we can start cutting out the wings and the tail. Same process, just scribe around the edges of it. Here's the fuselage assembly as far as I've gone so far. I've got a little part of a bulkhead installed in the back, halfway across to where it would be in the Swift right, right here. Um, <clears throat> the Swift's cowl should extend back into the cockpit to the instrument panel, but of course it didn't when it was uh, formed with the cockpit installed. So once I've cut it off, I've got to install a piece in here to form that uh, area where the instrument panel should be. Hopefully the scar that's left by this will be covered up where the windshield uh, meets the cowl. Here's that part installed. The wings are cut out. I, I left them cutting them apart till later and to 
get them to be capable of being fit together and have the right airfoil. I have to uh, sand them, uh, actually wet sand them on a piece of sandpaper uh, to thin the trailing edge and make the area of contact flat. I've sanded them down close to the fin finished level and um, I'll cut them apart and then I have to cut out the landing gear uh, openings for the retractable landing gear. I have the wings ready to assemble. I have cut out the uh, landing gear uh, wells on the bottom wing. Also I've box partially boxed them in so that uh, this area where there's very little plastic left will be partially supported uh, in case you pick it up by that area. There'll be an interconnection between the top and the bottom. I've also made a, a, a partial spar that will go through the fuselage and into each wing to set the dihedral and give it more structural strength. Well, I have the wings together. They, they uh, need a final final sanding and cleanup, and then they have to be fitted to the fuselage. Uh, it's not in the plans, but I have installed a little stub spar across the cockpit to make the attachment of the wings uh, more structurally sound and also to, in hopes of setting the dihedral. Start working on the tail surfaces and cut them out just like the other parts. Go around the edges of them until they break out. Well, here are the tail surfaces roughly cut out. I've filled and trim, trimmed the wings to attempt to fit them to the fuselage. Uh, they fit pretty well on the top. On the bottom, maybe not so well. The, little, the, the center spar will hopefully keep them keep them uh, with the right dihedral. The bottom, unfortunately, is loose enough that one might argue that I'm sculpting the airplane out of filler putty rather than actually building it. Here are the wings installed. It took quite an effort. Obviously, if I'd spent more time fitting, I wouldn't have had to spend so much time gluing, and I wouldn't have used so much filler putty. And obviously, a lot more filler putty is going to be required, but anyway, progress is being made, I guess. I've done a lot of sanding uh, on the underside and edges of the wings. I need to do more. I, I will put another uh, coating of putty on as I after I install the cockpit, which will also need uh, some work. I've also installed a, a rudimentary cockpit so far. I've sanded down the uh, tail surfaces and they're glued up, ready to go, except that I need to clean them up a little bit first. So next will be the cockpit installation. Getting to look a little more like an airplane. The model is pretty well complete <clears throat> prior to painting. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I, the, the, neither the wings nor the tail have perfect dihedral. It's something that's really difficult on a vacuform model because there's no uh, way other than just butt gluing it to, to get it together that way. I've uh, made the, the landing gear. I'll put them on just before I paint. Well, it's time for the big reveal. I think most modelers really enjoy the painting and finishing. Uh, myself, it's the scary part because 
I make such a mess in, in attempting to do it that uh, it leaves a lot to be desired every time. But it's always interesting, if, if not satisfying, the, the results I get. Masking tape is removing itself from the airplane and sticking itself to me. So far, the masking uh, job doesn't look like it was particularly good. There's a couple bad spots right there of paint getting under it. Another one. Well, gotta say I'm pretty disappointed with that, but we'll try and fix it up. Now we need wheels. Also a prop. Well, here's the finished product. I'm uh, not real proud of it, but it's okay, I guess. The, the paint job is definitely the weak point of the build. Next time, I, I either got to get better masking tape or be better at masking. Thanks for watching. Like this video, you might like my other videos listed here. Also, you might like the videos by some of the people I've shown here. If you like the video, please subscribe so you can receive future videos. Thanks again for watching.